We know that quantum mechanics is based on operator algebra, which in turn depend on linear algebra. So then, first of all, we can discuss about linear vector space. A linear vector space V is a set of vectors and another associated set of scalars, along with following set of rules, which includes vector addition and scalar multiplication. Rules are explained using different notations. We can use standard notation KET. Vector space must be closed under addition. That is, if KET vector alpha and KET vector beta are vectors and this belongs to vector space V, then KET vector alpha plus KET vector beta is also an element of V. Vector addition must also be commutative. That is, if ket vector alpha and ket vector beta belongs to vector space V, then ket vector alpha plus ket vector beta is equal to ket vector beta plus ket vector alpha. Vector addition must also be associative. That is, if ket vector alpha, ket vector beta and ket vector gamma belongs to V, then ket vector alpha plus ket vector beta plus ket vector gamma equals ket vector alpha plus Ket vector beta plus ket vector gamma. Null vector or zero vector property. If ket vector alpha and ket vector zero are element of V, then ket vector alpha plus ket vector zero equals ket vector alpha. Inverse property. If ket vector alpha and ket vector minus alpha belongs to V, then ket vector alpha plus ket vector minus alpha equals ket vector zero. Scalar multiplication rules. Vector field must be closed under scalar multiplication. That is, if ket vector alpha belongs to V and A is a scalar, then A times ket vector alpha belongs to V. Scalar multiplication must also be distributive over addition. That is, A times ket vector alpha plus ket vector beta equals A times ket vector alpha plus A times ket vector beta. And also, a plus B times ket vector alpha equals A times ket vector alpha plus B times ket vector alpha. Scalar multiplication must also be associative. That is, multiplying two or more scalar by a vector. We can multiply all the scalars together and then multiply the vector. Or we can multiply the scalar separately. Scalar multiplication also obey identity and zero scalar property. 